Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on Python programming basics and today we will we will use a few draw canvas functions and we will use it to draw shapes print text on canvas also we will uh, use the sound feature uh, to uh, to produce sound uh, on the click off click off button so let's see how it is um, I have my code uh, here and let's run it okay so we have the frame our canvas and buttons let's see what happens when I click on square and before I click let me tell you that this is uh, uh, what we are printing uh, on canvas it's the message default message I want to print when the program runs before any button is clicked and it says enjoy learning shapes clicking on square Okay, it shows the uh, it displays the shape it draws the shape on canvas it prints the text uh, telling what um, what is this shape so uh, we we know what's this shape is and also there is a sound which um, which is coming out when we are clicking on this button saying that this is square similar thing happens when we click on triangle Okay. Now, previ uh, previously we had square on the canvas, and when we clicked on triangle, uh, we see uh, we see that canvas uh, has a triangle now. Okay. Same is the case with circle, and then we have rectangle. And if we click on erase, it it clears, it resets the screen, it the canvas, and prints the uh, message. Thanks for watching. So this is what we are going to do today. We'll follow this template and start with importing the simple GUI module. Simple GUI, and we will create the frame. Frame equals simple GUI dot create underscore frame. We will give the title as shapes, and the width of the canvas as four hundred pixels. Height of the canvas is 400. Let's start the frame. Click on run just to see uh, our frame is created. Okay, here we go. We have the uh, frame with the canvas of 400 width and 400 height, which is good. Now let's work on getting the buttons registering the event handler. So let's create button frame dot add underscore button and I will put the title or the text that I want to display on the button as square that's the first one and let the event handler be as Q and the width of the button is 100 this as Q is the event handler for the square button and let's go ahead and define the event handler sq sq what is going to happen in 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 once the user clicks on sq basically we are going to say that shape equals square okay now since this is a variable uh, it needs to be defined and i want this variable as to be global variable global shape and let's go ahead and define here as well shape equals none I want to initialize it as none because initially in the beginning before any but button is uh, pressed um, we want to display as, um, uh, the canvas as, as uh, blank without any shapes but a text uh, so the text would be the initial text would be hi enjoy enjoy learning shapes okay so what what are we going to do in in the event handler when the button is clicked we are going to say shape equals square and then we are also working on sound so let us go ahead and see how the sound works let's go to docs and refer to the to the documentation and if i click on doc Okay, 
go to graphics module and simple GUI module sounds and what we we want to do, do is if we want to um, if we want the sound to be played we need to first load the sound and then we have to use a play sound so this is the syntax we need to know the URL where from where the sound will be loaded now you may want to check uh, what format is supported by your browser uh, usually mp3 works pretty well uh, so we will be using this syntax uh, syntax and and also we once it is loaded we have to uh, play the sound so this is basically what we would need so let's copy to save time and put here the so this is going to pick up the uh, sound from or load the sound from this particular URL which is not not the one which I'm going to use so I will delete this URL for now but we have to put a URL here and this is the command uh, sorry the function which we are going to use sound uh, equals simple GUI dot load underscore sound so load underscore sound is a function and we'll give the URL later on and then we will say sound dot play and once we load the sound it would play the sound so let's go ahead and put um, um, let's work out other buttons so we need one for circle try triangle rectangle and also there was a erase button let's go ahead and and put here as triangle oops, triangle and name the event handler as try then we have circle name the event handler as cir and let's name it as rectangle and put it as rect and then the last one is erase and let's define the event handler as cir we are going to do a similar kind of thing for other event handlers as well so basically all the buttons uh, when clicked would um, define the shape um, based on uh, uh, which button is clicked and also they will play the sound so let's copy them and put here one and this would be for triangle so would the, it will initialize it will define as triangle okay here let's have circle so shape would be circle in this case okay and few more we need a rectangle okay define it as rectangle and then finally we will have it for erase and so let's put here for erase er er and we are not when once uh, the erase button is clicked we are not going to uh, draw any shape so we are going to remove this uh, for now we, and also we are not going to play any sound so shape we will still have global shape sorry and shape would be none in this case and we will be also printing the uh, closing message there which will work out later on but this is pretty much what we have for event handlers and and let's go ahead and run the program just to make sure that everything is working fine and we have buttons in in our control area okay so we got one error here and name rect is not defined okay okay so here this is what happens when you copy paste right should resolve the error okay so we have this frame uh, we got the buttons in the control area we have got square triangle circle rectangle and erase this is what we wanted let's click on square nothing would happen because um, uh, we are just defining the shapes uh, and also we have code for sound uh, in them but 
um, nothing is actually drawing here that's because we have to use draw handlers and we haven't registered or defined the draw handlers yet okay so let's go ahead and do that okay uh, time to work on uh, draw handlers so let's first register the draw handler and also define the draw handler here which would update the canvas let's see how how we can do that so I will go to canvas and set draw handler on canvas the set underscore draw handler uh, function would actually call the draw handler function for us so let's go ahead and copy here and I'm going to define this draw handler here define draw handler and we have to pass canvas because that is where the updates will go on next we will have to uh, draw the shapes uh, here and let's see how to draw shapes in order to draw shapes we have a couple of functions here we have uh, draw circle on canvas we give uh, um, the coordinates draw underscore circle is the function which helps in drawing the circle we give the center coordinates we also give the radius and the width of the line uh, we also have option to give the color of the line as well as if we want to fill the shape with some color we have that option as well in order to dot draw triangle or square or rectangle we don't we don't have any special option as such but what we can do is we can use draw polygon draw polygon function uh, draws lines between the given coordinates so if we want a triangle we will define one set of coordinates second third so three sets of coordinate and the lines will be drawn between these uh, coordinates same is the case with the square or rectangle we'll give four sets of coordinates and if it is pentagon we will give five sets of coordinates we also have option of uh, giving the width of the line the color of the line and as well as um, if we want the fill, uh, to fill the shape with certain color we can give that as well in order to print text on uh, canvas we use uh, draw text on canvas and the draw underscore text function is used for that we give the text we give the coordinate where we want the text to start printing we give the font size the um, the color of the uh, font so let's get back okay so here we have the um, uh, here we have the code to uh, draw the shapes as well as um, uh, print the text on canvas so if we see here uh, the canvas dot draw underscore polygon we I have given four sets of coordinates it's going to draw a square you can play around with these coordinates uh, based on your canvas size I I figured out that this would work for me so I have chosen this coordinate but it may vary for you based on your canvas size and I use draw underscore text to print the name of uh, the kind of the type of shape there on the canvas this one we have uh, three sets of coordinates so it would draw a triangle for me and also print the the, what kind of shape it is through draw underscore text function next we have uh, draw underscore circle it's going to draw a circle for us and finally we have uh, another draw underscore polygon which has four set of coordinates and it's going to draw a rectangle for us at last we have uh, um, um, if you remember we talked about resetting the canvas and and this function is going to reset the canvas um, to white color uh, and also put printed text the closing text or or, or uh, once we reset the canvas we want we wanted some text so it will print that so let's go ahead and run this and see how it's how it goes okay so here we see uh, we have the frame we have the buttons but we see all the square rectangle text none everything is printed here right uh, it's kind of weird uh, but actually that's what we told uh, the draw handler to do because we defined all we 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 gave it all the uh, functions uh, to draw all the shapes but we didn't tell when to draw which shape so we didn't tell it when we click on uh, when when the shape is a square you should draw a square when we when you have triangle you draw triangle uh, we just uh, dumped all the um, shapes here we have to put some conditions so let's work out some condition uh, those conditions so what would eventually happen is we will say if shape equals square then it should do this okay and 
else if shape is triangle triangle it has to do this show sure. and so if shape is circle it has to do this and if shape is rectangle it has to do this and if nothing works out or none of the conditions matches it should print it should reset the screen so this is what we are asking we have all our conditions now be sure on indentation otherwise it will throw an error okay uh, one thing we have to do is we have to uh, define the shape here so we will define the shape as a global shape okay and let's see let's run our program to see everything working fine so we run the program and we see that the opening text is high enjoy learning shapes which is uh, good and that's what we wanted we click on square the shape is coming the text corresponding to that shape is coming we click on triangle okay the shape is coming text corresponding to it is coming same circle and rectangle and if we click on erase uh, well the text is not correct and the reason is because we didn't pass the correct value of text uh, in the text uh, sorry the erase event handler so what we are going to do is uh, we see uh, we, here we have to define the text text equals thanks for watching okay and here we have to define the variable as text and now this text once it is changed it will be passed here and it should display the appropriate text so let's run it once again and okay okay so look here is the problem we didn't define the text as global variable that's why it was taking the previous text value it should resolve the error now and here we have thanks for watching so the only thing which is really left over is putting the sound right so let's do it quickly okay before we go ahead and put the uh, urls here let's see what is happening uh, real quick um, when the button is clicked, uh, say for example the triangle button was clicked, the shape would be defined as triangle and then uh, since it's, it's a global variable, the shape, the value of shape will be triangle and when the canvas is drawing, it will see that okay the shape is triangle and this condition would satisfy shape equals triangle and then it will follow this this set of instruction and draw the triangle for us. So this is how the flow is um, uh, it's drawing the triangle and it's uh, putting the text as shape shape is triangle and that's how we are getting the shape and triangle now let's put the url i'm going to copy and paste the url to save time here and you can similarly be, uh, put uh, different urls uh, uh, corresponding to different shapes and let me put it for square and uh, run our program once again so what i did was yesterday i I recorded uh, my kids voice uh, for these shapes and uploaded in SoundCloud and that's what I'm using uh, here and so if we run and if uh, if we if I click on square you will see the sound square. okay here we go so uh, now we can also uh, paste the URL for other um, event handlers and uh, once we do that you can hear the corresponding sounds for triangle circle and rectangle as well I hope this video helped uh, in understanding uh, draw functions so please leave your comments and feedback thanks